Let's get this out of the way. Black Myth Wukong is one of the better games I've played this year. I've beaten the game four times, I got to level 342, and overall I've put 158 hours into this game. I even got the Platinum Trophy. You know how long I've been waiting for this? It's pretty safe to say that I like this game. I'm saying all this early because you will hear me make some criticisms throughout this video. Some of them are fair, some of them are more personal nitpicks, and some of them come across like I'm trying to change the game into something else, instead of appreciating it for what it is. Still, I genuinely enjoyed this game and I want to see it win some awards this year. Thanks for hearing me out in advance. For starters, the developers of this game have stated that this isn't a Souls-like game and labels itself more traditionally as an action RPG. And while I personally have not seen for myself their statement that it's more like God of War, and I thought Wukong was going to be a Souls-like title because all of the marketing material kind of gave off that vibe. However, it's not a Souls-like game. It's more akin to something like God of War. It's not really a Souls-like, like many people expected. This is an action combat adventure with light RPG elements. Black Myth Wukong is an ARPG. Uh, I've been getting the question a lot, is this game like Elden Ring? No, it is not a Souls-like. It was not a Ninja Gaiden. It was not a Devil May Cry. It is more of a traditional ARPG, kind of like God of War. I can see the inspiration from its presentation. From a gameplay perspective, outside of the skill tree, there's only one thing that reminds me of God of War, and that's being able to continue your combo right after you dodge. God of War is not the only game to have a mechanic like this, but I noticed it wasn't being talked about enough when other people compare Wukong's combat to Souls' combat. Stuff like this is not found in those games, because Souls games don't be having combos like that. I think that's where the resemblance to God of War ends though, and it's a shame because as much as I enjoy the combat, I can't help but feel like there are so many missed opportunities to deepen it. Let me explain. In this game, you're not just playing as anybody that you randomly create and maybe you can make them look as goofy as possible if you wanted to. Jesus Christ! What's up with your face? Go, go, go. No! Stay over there! You're essentially auditioning to be the next Monkey King, one of fiction's most iconic characters. We all got a glimpse of that when we saw Sun Wukong fighting in the opening cutscene. <laughs> For me personally, it took me back to the kung fu movies I grew up on that started my love for the bow staff. It had me thinking of my favorite fictional characters and how many of them had a staff. Obviously there's Goku, but also Donatello is my favorite Ninja Turtle, Gambit is my favorite X-Men, I use the Insect Glaive in Monster Hunter, Dohalim is my favorite Tales of Arise character. I mean, Keelik and Soul Calibur, you get the picture. I guess you can say all these characters really, uh... <laughs> they really... They, they really stick with me. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! So when a game comes out looking this beautiful... Let I me see her beat! ...the battle between Dynamax Pokemon... Show me the feet! Strategy I gotta the see the feet! Feet! Sounding the way it does... pay so much respect to its source material, the main character is the inspiration for all the crazy staff stuff I love, and the devs say it's not like a Souls game when so many action games today are trying to be like Dark Souls, I was sold. And then I... And then I played it, and I was like, You promised you wouldn't be like Dark Souls! I lied. My first gripe, I think it's a pretty fair one to have. You do not have a dedicated ranged attack and there are many enemies that are high out of reach that shoot stuff at you, and your only solution is to deflect them. There are also some obstacles that would be a lot simpler to handle if you had a ranged attack. I've fallen. I'm dead. You can't even throw your staff at someone until you unlock Wukong's stance in Chapter 6, and in order to have it unlocked permanently outside of Chapter 6, you have to get every relic in at least three of your playthroughs. 
When you finally get the stance, the input is very similar to Kratos' range inputs. You hold L2, then press attack. The only difference is that Wukong can't aim the same way Kratos can. You're only able to throw the staff in front of you a short distance. It would be cool to at least have some kind of magic projectile, whether I aim for them manually like an enslaved, or maybe spend some focus points to lock on automatically like Dohalim. You build focus from deflecting projectiles anyway, so I feel like being able to spend some of that focus you just got would fit that situation. Maybe make the inputs L2 plus hold square and L2 plus hold triangle so it won't get in the way of the default spinning attack input that's already L2 plus triangle. Speaking of deflecting projectiles, it would have been nice to actually deflect projectiles back at whoever's shooting at you with maybe like a perfect input or something, kind of like Jedi Survivor or Kingdom Hearts or hell, even like God of War. Speaking of perfect inputs, and I know this is a crazy nitpick, but hear me out. There is a missed opportunity to add some extra flair in some of these animations, namely the thrust stance charge attack after a perfect dodge. If you're in thrust stance, have four focus points, and you dodge or perfect dodge an attack, the thrust attack comes out automatically without needing to charge, which optimizes big damage without wasting time. My problem with this is that the animation doesn't change when you do a perfect dodge version. It's the exact same as when you do a normal dodge. Nitpicky, I know, but a great example on how a perfect dodge system is animated well actually comes from the recent Spider-Man games. There's a distinct difference in Spider-Man's normal dodge animations and his perfect dodge animations. I don't think I'm crazy for wanting this either because they already added an extra flip animation when you perfectly time and mobilize. Not only does this extend the freeze duration and increase damage while frozen, somebody at the team was like, yeah, he should do a flip. Do a flip! Not too long ago, I rewatched Iron Monkey and Homeboy did this. This flip he does at the end looks pretty similar to one of Red Boy's moves, and I think it would have been a nice animation to reward the player for doing a perfect dodge and spending all of your resources. Hell, even have him strike a pose at the end. If that's not good enough, maybe have him dodge like this. Or maybe like this. Or maybe when you perfect dodge, instead of it looking like this, it looked like this. In all seriousness, stuff looking cool is just as important as it being strong. It's why they changed the animations to one of my favorite characters in all of gaming, Lee. Uh, Lee? No, not that Lee, but I still gotta finish that game. This Lee. Lee Chowland. One of the best moves in Tekken is Lee's Acid Rain, and it looks like this. If you don't play Tekken, you'll just see a jab and three kicks, but this takes practice to consistently do because the kicks require precise timing. You gotta press it with the rhythm like ba 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 ba. When Tekken 8 dropped, they made one change to Lee's Acid Rain, and it was the animation. They kept the precise timing and kept the utility of the move, but now they added an extra swaggy spin on it where now it's like ba ba ba. His name is Lee, goddammit. The move looks so cool now that I use it every chance I get. Even if I don't always get it right, or my opponent blocks it, or even sees it coming. I even use it in the middle of combos. Speaking of combos, oh, where are the combos? Game signs? Where are the combos? You're hiding them under the floor. Here's how you play Black Myth Wukong in the first hour. I press, I press X, 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 X. X. Here's how you play Black Myth Wukong in the last hour. I press X, 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 and X, 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 and X, 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 Where are the grabs? Where are the aerials? Where, 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 where are the combos? The, 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 the best one. What's funny is in one of the first trailers, he does something that resembles a finisher. It would have been cool to see some unique finishing moves like this in the full game. 
I mean, just look at some of Keelix's throws and imagine a Wukong version of them. It would have been nice to have a launcher and some air combos. It would have been nice to have more combos in general. We could have had a pause combo like square, wait, square, 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 and it leads to something like this. Maybe we could start with a launcher by holding square like Spider-Man, but then do back plus square to do some staff spins that juggle the enemy like this. And maybe depending on how many focus points you spend, it changes the follow-up. Maybe you only spend one point, it'll just be a push. But if you spend more than one, it'll launch the opponent again. Maybe there could be a 360 motion and press square to throw the staff in a circle around you and have it come back, like when Kratos does this. And as a bonus, let's say you have Ring of Fire equipped. Because Ring of Fire's input is R2 plus square anyway, why not do 360, then R2 plus square to throw the staff in a wider ring of fire? Maybe shortcut R2 plus a direction to swap out your spells on the fly instead of having that input as an item shortcut. That way we can swap spells without needing to go to a shrine. And if I wanted to use an item, I can still pause the game. These may not be the most original ideas, but it's at least something. It may seem like I'm just taking ideas from other games, but that's also how inspiration works sometimes. Sometimes you're Demon Slayer and you're paying homage to Street Fighter 2 with a cute reference. And sometimes your journey to the West in 2014 completely copying Osiris Wrath. My whole fucking flow! Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar! Oh! Don't act shit. like I didn't.